It's the G to the U to the R to the U. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the G to the U to the R to the U. Welcome. It's the AFC West Schedule Prediction Edition of Monday Morning Football with the Guru. With no further ado, the AFC champions, the AFC beast, the leader of the AFC West, the Kansas City Chiefs. And we're going to focus on the very first six weeks before we move on to the uh, to the next six weeks. So week number one, they host the Cleveland Brown right here. This to me right here is the early prediction, the early indicator of the um, AFC Championship preview right here. This because I'm so high on the uh, on the Cleveland Browns. So with this said, I anticipate Andy Reid. You know how Andy Reid is. You give him a whole year to get things going. They always win the opening game. So I expect a very very battle game, a very high intensity game, a high competitive game. But Andy Reid having that extra basically eight months of of you know that having that losing of that 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 taste that nasty taste of losing the super bowl i think they're gonna take it out on the cleveland browns obviously so one and no kansas city chiefs week number two they travel to baltimore to face it seemed like their arch rivals but it's not even a rivalry because the chiefs have been dominating this so-called rivalry but obviously it's a lamar jackson and patrick mahomes situation so in this case with the way the rosters is set up for this year i i feel like the baltimore ravens early in the season We'll be able to um, utilize um, Lamar Jackson offensive skills because you all know it takes a little bit um, before everybody get used to the Ravens offense. So, and the Chiefs defensively, they I don't even, the Chiefs don't even have defense. You know what I'm saying? The Chiefs to me are like a Big 12 team. They're like Oklahoma University or Texas. You know they're a Big 12 team. All offense, no defense at all, man. No respect for the defensive of the Kansas City Chiefs. And I see that's going to be the Achilles heel. And I anticipate Lamar and the Baltimore offense to definitely run all over the Chiefs' non-existent defense. First L for the Kansas City Chiefs, week number two. Week number three, they host the Los Angeles Chargers uh, with Brandon Staley, Justin Herbert. Tell you guys the truth, but I can tell you, I'm not sold on Brandon Staley. I don't even know if this guy could coach. Nobody knows if this guy could coach. So with that said, I know one thing I do know, he's not a better coach than Andy Reid. He's not a better preparation guy than Andy Reid. So with that said, Andy Reid and company are going to take that W against some guy I don't even know if he could coach or not in Brandon Staley. Week number four, they travel to the um, Philadelphia Eagles. Speaking of guys I can't coach, um, I expect Andy Reid to go back home to Philly. We all know how it is. Andy, when I think about Andy Reid, I think about the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, I'm an NFC East guy, so Andy going back home, he's going to take care of um, Nick Sarani and the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles going to be one of the worst team in football this year, so I expect the Chiefs to manhandle um, the Eagles in week number four. Week number five, they come back home to host the Buffalo Bills, so... You know what I'm saying? This is going to be another close, tough game because we all know the, the Bills roster. We all know what Brandon Bean, Sean McDermott, and company, we know what they have assembled over there in Buffalo. But one thing I could say is what I when I see the Bills, I see a uh, 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 basically, uh, you know, um, how should I put this? A broke-ass Kansas City Chiefs. You know what I'm saying? The Nazis way of putting it. It's like they want to be the Chiefs, but they're not the Chiefs. It's like it's like the NBA terminology. You remember the Golden State Championship franchise era? You know, their, their dynasty era? And then you remember the Houston with uh, with um, uh, the Houston Rockets with Chris Paul and, and um, what's the name, James Harden? And it's like they wanted to be like the Golden State Warriors. They were built like the Golden State Warriors, but they can't beat the Golden State Warriors. This is the same scenario, right? The Bills want to be the Chiefs, but they're not going to be the Chiefs, and they are not the Chiefs, and they will not beat the Chiefs. So with that said, mark another W for Kansas City Chiefs, man. And week number six to finish the first six game of the season, they travel to my squad. They go to Washington to play the Washington football team, man. Yes, y'all know what it is, man. I am going to tell you what it is. Chase Young and company. We know the Achilles heels for the Kansas City Chiefs, man. And obviously, it did an amazing job as far as offensive line. Went and got the whole new offensive line led by Orlando Brown and company. But at the end of the day, when the rubble meet the road, 
when it comes down to the best defensive line in all of football. The way, how do you defeat Kansas City is you get pressure with your front four and we got the best front four and the best young front four and the most tenacious front four and you guys will see all of that against Kansas City Chiefs and Andy will take an L against my Washington football team. So, just to give you a breakdown, the very first six games of the season, the Kansas City Chiefs will start the season four and two. You know what I mean? That and obviously had a tough, tough stretch opening with the Cleveland Browns, and then you add the Ravens, the Ravens into that, a playoff team from last year. You add the Bills into that, a playoff team from last year. You had the uh, Washington football team, a playoff team from last year. I mean, it's a tough, tough first six week of the season, man, with them having four of the six games being a former playoff team from the previous year. So now let's transition into the second portion of the of the schedule. Week number seven to week twelve. So let's look at that next six game. So week seven, they open up. I mean, they travel to the Tennessee Titans. Look, we all know what the Titans are. I know you guys don't look at this, but you know I love my man Finger Real Finger Finger Real. What do they call him? Finger Roll Hill, baby. Y'all don't know about Tanny Finger Roll Hill. Y'all can talk about Patty Mahomes all y'all want, but my man. Finger roll Hill, expect him to be doing a lot of finger roll to my man AJ Brown and my man Julio Jones. And y'all know who it is, Mr. Stiff Arm, Mr. Wakanda himself, Mr. Derrick Henry, Stiff Arm. I'm talking about the Tennessee Titans, the big, the swollest, the, I call them the all gym team. They go and lift weights. And with that said, they are going to manhandle. I'm talking about they're going to bully ball the cute and speedy and nice, cute, pretty Kansas City Chiefs. So I expect, this is what I call the battle of beauty and the beast. And you know what? The beast always beat beauty. And that's because that's the rule. So the Titans going to beat the Kansas City Chiefs because they're just ugly. I did all this just to say the Titans are ugly, the Chiefs are beautiful, and ugly always beat beautiful. Sorry, that's just what it is. Week number eight, they host the New York football giants. I'll put it like this, man. And the reason you know it's not going to lose three in a row. You know what I'm saying? He lost to the Washington football team, and then he's going to lose to the Tennessee Titans, but he ain't finna lose three in a row. So I anticipate the Chiefs to, uh, you know, to come back to normal, man, to, to come back to balance and beat the New York football giants in week number eight. Week number nine, they host the Green Bay Packers. So I don't know. At this day, we're doing it. It's August 2nd. So I don't know where Aaron Rodgers is. You know what I'm saying? So with this said, Put like this, with Aaron Rodgers, without Aaron Rodgers, with John Love, with any other damn quarterback they want, the Green Bay Packers will not beat the Kansas City Chiefs this season. I don't care. Grumple, Aaron Rodgers is mad. You know, uh, uh, my man Gutigans and Mike Mark, everybody's just, it's just, it's, it's just too much drama going on in, K I mean, in Green Bay for me. Too much drama. So with that said, I expect the Kansas City Chiefs to just put a whooping on the cheese head, man. Um, so look for put another W for the Chiefs in week number nine. Week 10, they travel to Las Vegas to hold to play the pesky. It's like I feel like the Raiders always like this. So they just it's like a bug for the Kansas City Chiefs. You know what I mean? It's like, you know when you go to a picnic, like it's a beautiful day out there, it's a beautiful weather, you got the girls wearing short shorts, the guys showing their muscle, I mean it's all perfect, and then you know what's coming annoying? It's like you're on the grill eating, but then there's this one fly. This one damn fly is just coming to your, it's like you want to bite your burger and the fly is just roaming around, you're like, what the fuck? He's like, get the hell away from me, you fly. That's the Oakland, I mean, I'm sorry, that's the Las Vegas Raiders to the Kansas City Chiefs. You know what I'm saying? The Chiefs are like, we have a pretty picnic, we barbecuing, but this one fucking fly that just annoys us. So in week number 10, that fly is going to annoy you. And then you know when you swing and you miss and then you drop your food and you're like, you stupid fly. That's what's going to happen to the Kansas City Chiefs. They're going to drop their food week number 10 against the Las Vegas Raiders and they will take an L. Week number 11, they're going to bounce back like my man Big Sean would say, man. They're going to, last night, they took an L, but what, guess what? They're going to bounce back against the Cowboys, man. They finna beat the Dallas Cowboys. Boys, I'm not even going to talk much about this. You all know how the guru feel about the Cowboys. The guru hates the Cowboys. And with my hatred included in this take, the Cowboys will lose. W, Kansas City. 
Week 12, they got a bye. So let's look at this now. Let's break it down. Week 7 through 12, they played the Tennessee Titans, who was a playoff team last year, right? So out of, and then the um, Green Bay Packers, who also were a playoff team. So in this stretch, you can see it's, it's not as tough. The middle part of the schedule is not as tough as the first part, where they only have two teams from last year that actually made the playoff uh, from week 7 through 12. So I anticipate them to go three and two with the including of the buy. So they're gonna go three and two in the second half of this schedule, all right? So now, let's move to the last half of the schedule. This is, as the season goes, this is when you wanna build up momentum because now you're getting ready to go to the playoff. So the last half of the season, that's when you really gonna see teams like well-run organization teams, teams that have aspiration of being a, a, a Super Bowl contenders. This is when they start grinding it up now. You can see that. So starting week number 12 after the bye, they host the Denver Broncos. Like, take this to the bank. Like, I'm putting all the Bitcoins, I'm putting all my crypto in this game. Andy Reid don't lose after a bye. So they're playing the Denver Broncos week 13. I'm putting a whole bunch of check in that game. I don't give a damn what the over, under, what the score is, who the who's favorite. I know the Chiefs are going to win by at least 10 points against the Denver Broncos. Week number 14, they play the uh, they host the Las Vegas Raiders. Remember I told you about that bug, right? You know, the Vegas, they're like that fly with the, on the Kansas City Chiefs picnic. You know what I'm saying? The first time, they miss and they drop the food. But you know what? The second time around, they're ready for this damn fly. You know what I'm saying? They're ready for this fly, man. We got some bug repellent this time. We play some bug repellent, and the bug got tricked right now. And guess what? They swapped that fly because we got a fly swapper, and the Raiders will take an L week 14 against the Kansas City Chiefs, man. Week 15, they travel to the Los Angeles Chargers to take on Brandon Staley and, and, and Justin Herbert and the, uh, and the Los Angeles Chargers. Y'all know how I feel about the Los Angeles Chargers. I really don't feel them this year. I am not feeling them at all. I don't really, like I said, I don't know anything about their coach. And if I don't know shit about your coach, y'all don't know shit about their coach. Ain't no way I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, you get, no, 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 no. You got to earn for me to know who the hell you are, bro. You got to earn victories. So with that said, week 15, they're going to earn this victory against the Kansas City Chiefs. So I expect the Chiefs to take a, what I would call one of those lackadaisical loss. You know what I'm saying? It's a division game. It's one of those lax losses, man. Week 16, they come back against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, I like the Chiefs this game. Obviously, I think week 16, Big Ben is old as hell. You know what I mean? So by this time, Big Ben's arms should be falling off. You know, we all know something about the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's always going to be some issue or something later on in the season. It's just something that's not going to be right. And that's why they're going to lose to the Kansas City Chiefs. All right? Um, week number 17 at the Bengals. I mean, I'm not going to say much about this game, man. Like, they're going to beat the shit out of Bengals. Like, they're not ready. Joe Burrows and uh, Zach Taylor. I, another thing is, could, do we know if Zach Taylor could coach? I'm still trying to figure that out. I love me Zach Taylor. Y'all know I'm a Nebraska guy. I love me Big Red. But I'm starting to figure out what the hell Zach Taylor is all about. And to conclude, week number 18, they host, uh, they travel to the Denver Broncos. Um, but at this time right now, uh, uh, Vic Vangio's job is probably going. He's probably going to be fired by this time. Um, the Broncos, they, 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 they're going in true transition, man. I don't anticipate that. I don't even know who they're going to be. The quarterback is going to be for the Broncos in week 18, to be honest with you. I have no clue. So with that said, the Chiefs going to defeat the Broncos uh, to finish the last part of the season 5-1. and one. So I anticipate the Chiefs to finish. The scheduling guard did an amazing thing for the Chiefs because they played one playoff team in the last um, six games of the season. One playoff team, and that's the Pittsburgh Steelers. We all knew how that turned out. So I anticipate the Chiefs to finish the season 5-1. and one. So with that said, to uh, finish the whole entire division in first place and finish the record at 12-5. and five. So the Kansas City Chiefs 2021 schedule prediction is 12-5. and five. This is Monday Morning Football with the Guru.